Good afternoon, uh, Jean-Marc Gabastou. I'm the Regional Advisor in Public Health Laboratories and Networking at PAHO. I will uh, focus on uh, Hispaniola Island, uh, that includes Haiti and uh, Dominican Republic. Uh, in 2010, uh, after a huge uh, earthquake, Cholera was uh, reintroduced in Haiti, uh, and we uh, suffer uh, more than 1 million cases with uh, 10,000 uh, reported deaths. In January uh, 2019, uh, the last confirmed case was recorded, and in February, we spent three years without uh, documented uh, cases. Unfortunately, after EV rains, uh, the uh, cholera reappears uh, with a new big uh, outbreak in the capital uh, port of, of, of Queens. And uh, a first case, imported case, was reported in Dominican Republic one month uh, later. Trends uh, show the uh, increase in case we are close to uh, 40,000 uh, or more than 40,000 uh, case, suspected case. Uh, and at the same time, 35,000 uh, hospitalized case that uh, due to probably earn their reporting. More than uh, 67 deaths, that means a case fatality rate uh, under than 1.9%. Uh, Most of the case affected uh, uh, children, young children, one, uh, two, four years old, and uh, um, adults, um, uh, home, um, adults. Um, in terms of uh, dissemination of the case, all the country was invaded, all provinces were affected, uh, and most of the cases uh, focused, centered in the capital and the historical uh, uh, cholera uh, site Artibonit. In Dominican Republic, as mentioned in uh, case, first imported case where uh, introduced in uh, October. We have at the moment uh, 99 confirmed cases, uh, most of them in the capital and the uh, barrier of the capital. Please note that uh, we have uh, notified uh, no death at the moment. Two waves, the first at the beginning of the introduction, local, and the second autochthonous uh, co uh, uh, circulation of the bacterial and the case. We, uh, Dominican Republic has, uh, with the support of uh, Costa Rica and Argentina, uh, sequenced the imported case that confirmed a sequence type uh, ST69 associated with the expression of resistance, gene resistance to antibiotics. Sulfamethoxazole, trimetopin, and the intermediate for ciprofloxacin. This strain is part of the seventh pandemic, LTOR lineage and TLAT3 uh, sublineage already uh, described and circulating in 2010. Um, several studies shows. I'm sorry, I can't change let me see what happened i can yeah three uh, studies suggest the permanent presence of the vibrio cholera in the environment and maybe a persistence of the environmental uh, reservoir one of the characteristic of it is a permeability among the environment, the peri-domestic area, and 
the domestic areas is, that could explain the permanence of the bacterium in the environment. But these studies, New England and the Journal of Clinical Microbiology, mention also that uh, this strain is isolated in 2022 is the descendant for the 2010 epidemic. So this strain was already uh, circulating, continued uh, circulating maybe in this reservoir. And most, the most important is this reemergence demonstrates the epidemic potential of a strain that caused multiple explosive cholera outbreak over an extended period. What has been done? We have uh, adopted an integrated uh, approach supporting the Ministry of Health of both Haiti and uh, Dominican Republic for case detection, timely uh, case detection, investigation, and adequate uh, case management in order to uh, control morbidity and mortality. We have updated diagnostic surveillance and treatment guidelines in Dominican Republic, but also in uh, Haiti. And we have uh, developed a very strong campaign of risk communication to promote oral vaccination. And vaccination was a success for first time in Haiti with 76% uh, of the coverage. In Dominican Re Republic, it was limited to healthcare workers and neighbor contacts. We have insisted on the strengthening of interinstitutional and intersectoral coordination to ensure adequate supply of the wash that is a big problem in the island and, of course, in Haiti. We prepare and prove readiness uh, for early uh, response and uh, detect timely detection, confirmation of cases within the country and in the region. We developed a training, we propose a training, virtual training on laboratory diagnostic and molecular characterization of Vibrio cholera addressed to all the countries in Central America and in the Caribbean, Spanish speaker, speaking countries in the Caribbean, English speaking uh, countries, including uh, Netherlands speaking. Uh, this training was based on the last WHO updated guidelines, case definition, testing, uh, use, uh, rational use of identities, culture, PCR, shipping uh, of uh, strain, surveillance, etc. We purchase essential supplies. We have a stock in Panama, and uh, the technology of genotyping was implemented in the National Laboratory for. Uh, public uh, health in Haiti, but is still not operating. Hispaniola CTREPS and uh, national CTREPS were, were published, alerts were developed and, and diffused at national, regional, and global levels. We use historically uh, to work with CDC, the National Public uh, uh, Laboratory of uh, public health in uh, Haiti and the same in, uh, in Dominican Republic and other traditional uh, partners such as uh, UNICEF, uh, NGOs, etc. Achievements, personnel was trained in all the sub-region. Personnel is certified for the transport of infectious substance following uh, IATA and WHO uh, rules. Labomoto was uh, reactivated in Haiti in order to support the surveillance and the testing and the transport of, of samples. Sentinel sites were activated and dotted in Dominican Republic and in Central America and the Caribbean. That is very uh, important. Active community case investigation in Negboro in uh, Dominican Republic, an ongoing mission to evaluate the uh, quality of case management, surveillance uh, in the Center for Treatment of Cholera. Uh, 
uh, risk communication that was the strong uh, activity we developed uh, sports message were developed in french in spanish and in creole uh, we engaged the international coordination group for on vaccine provision uh, in order to uh, plan intervention in the prison in haiti and in haiti paru leads the coordination of the uh, health sector group within the different partners and uh, stakeholders including uh, united nations agencies our challenge IT is facing a very, very complex humanitarian and social political crisis with a very high uh, level of insecurity and uh, fuel shortage that impact, limit access to uh, health and basic water and sanitation, as well as food and water supplies, uh, continue hamper epidemiological surveillance, installation of uh, these uh, ORPs and uh, CTCs, affect transport of, of, of patients and a negative impact on the response and distribution of life-saving cholera medicine and supplies. There is a limited qualified healthcare workers and the lack of uh, epidemiologists, high demand of medical and non-medical supplies in Dominican Republic, problem with, uh, again, access to wash, Limited follow-up in epidemiological surveillance at the border province. This border is uh, the other side of Haiti. And uh, we are starting a pre-electoral period that could disturb the surveillance and the intervention. At the end, and to close, next steps, capacity building and wash, wash, wash. Thank you very much.